Howdy folks. So today I want to quickly cover how to make an HTML Gutenberg block, which you might already know how to do, but if you don't, happy to help you. So in general, it's worth knowing that WordPress sites are all HTML. So if you're brand new to this, that's a core concept that we're going to uh, use to inform everything we're going to do in this post. So this post, this post has custom HTML just so I know what this is. And then I click the plus button and I can actually do a quick search or you can see that it's one of my most used blocks. I can just do custom or even just a search for HTML here will give me that. Now this block in WordPress has a few unique features. One is that I can totally just write my own thing here. You might know that divs are a part of HTML and maybe the image tag IMG SRC, that's a common thing. I think I have in my clipboard an image from this website already and I can put it in an, the end of the div and that's some HTML and that's what this looks like. It basically looks like an image. So why did I use this instead of a HTML, uh, instead of an image block? Well primarily you can see that I've wrapped it in div. Now just a div is not that useful but if you're good at CSS you might know that something like class special hyphen image is super useful because your CSS can treat this one image on this page differently because it's a child of this class. So that is where we start to get into why you're actually doing custom HTML inside your WordPress site. As I said, if I just add a basic image here, I can totally do that. I can select one from the media library, be go, go like, oh, this one looks fun. Select that. It's my wife and I at uh, some, some silly Christmas thing we did. Um, but that is totally fine. And the th a cool thing to realize is that underlying that block, you can edit that block as HTML. And you'll notice that this image markup is different than my image markup. And that's another reason that you might end up using custom blocks some of the time, is that you really care that, say, there isn't this figure surrounding your image tag, that kind of thing. Underlying every HTML, any every block in, in the Gutenberg editor, there is a parag there is HTML. This is a paragraph, right? And if you're a little conversant in HTML, you might already recognize that you should expect some p tags around that if I go to edit as HTML and indeed that's exactly what we have. So every block in Gutenberg is an HTML block. The reason you'll probably sometimes want or need to use a custom HTML block is that you've got something where you need this very particular markup to make something like the CSS work out right on this page. Those sorts of situations are when you will actually use a custom HTML block in the Gutenberg editor in WordPress. And with that, good luck. Cheers.